Today we are going to connect a Zebra RFD 5500 sled to an MC55A mobile computer. When connected, the sled gives the device the ability to read and encode RFID tags with its integrated antenna. To connect the sled, match the prongs on the front of the sled with the ports on the back of the device and the device will lock in place. When connected, the device and the sled can be charged simultaneously in a standard USB charging cradle for the device. To remove the sled, press the buttons on the sides of the sled simultaneously to disconnect the device. In order to install the drivers for the RFD 5500 onto your mobile device, you will need to download the appropriate drivers from the Zebra website. After downloading the drivers, connect your mobile device to your PC using the USB cradle. Once connected, Windows Mobile Device Center on the PC will automatically connect with this mobile scanner, then browse the contents of your device using the file management option. You'll want to copy the RFID drivers onto the application directory of your mobile device. This process may take up to 30 seconds to complete. Once the copy has finished, you can use the file explorer on the device to begin the installation. To install the drivers, Use the Start button and navigate to the File Explorer in the list of programs. From the File Explorer window, use the drop-down list found on the top of the screen to select the My Device. From My Device, choose the Application Folder. Within the Application Folder, you will find the newly copied file, which you can then tap once to begin the installation. This process may take up to 30 seconds, after which the device will automatically restart itself, displaying the white MC55A splash screen. After the RFID drivers are installed, the device will restart itself, displaying the white MC55A splash screen for up to 15 seconds. After the MC55A splash screen, the device will display a blue Windows embedded handheld screen for up to five seconds. When the device reaches its home screen, you will notice a new icon displaying the status of the RFID wedge. When the RFID wedge reaches the running state, the device is ready to begin reading tags using the software application of your choice. Included by default with along with the RFID drivers is an application that can help you get started. This program called RFID Demo is generally found at the bottom of the list of installed programs. From within the RFID Demo application you can begin to read RFID tags by either pressing and holding the trigger of the RFD 5500 or by tapping the start reading button found at the top of the touch screen. During tag reading, the application will display the EPC ID of any UHF tags that are in range of the antenna.